Now, if we take, take a look at these two diagrams, that AB length and the DE length are exactly the same. So what we're going to do then is we're going to set up an equation, an equality here, where AB squared is equal to DE squared. Okay, so we end up with this a L sine of alpha minus beta. plus cosine of alpha minus beta. So our cosine of alpha minus cosine of beta squared. Okay, that's going to be my AB. Okay, so I'm just going to do that in yellow here. And that's going to be equal to the D, the B, the DE squared. Okay, so I get one minus cosine alpha minus beta squared plus sine squared of alpha minus beta. Okay, so this is going to be the DE length squared. And we're going to say that they're equivalent to each other because they are the DE and AB are the same length. So what I'm going to get you to do from here is I'm going to get you to actually expand this and rearrange it and we should come up with one of the identities. Okay, so I'm just going to do that off to the side here. I'll take I'm going to take one of these expressions here, okay, and it's going to expand them one at a time, okay, so to make it a little bit easier to, to follow. Okay, so I'm going to take that expression, give myself a little bit of space here. Okay, so that expression, when I expand this out, I end up with sine squared alpha minus 2 sine alpha sine beta plus sine squared beta, okay, plus, this is going to be expanded, I'm going to get cos squared alpha minus 2 cos alpha, cos alpha co cosine beta, that's a cosine there, plus cosine squared beta. Okay, so where am I going with this? This is going to be equal to the other expression. Well, there are parts of this expression which I can group together, and there are identities. For example, sine squared plus cos squared is equal to 1. I also have this sine squared beta and cos squared beta. Well, that's equal to 1 as well. And then I'm left with these two expressions. They have a common factor of negative 2, so I'm just going to factor the, that negative 2 out, minus 2, and then I'm going to end up with sine alpha sine beta plus cos alpha cos beta. Okay, so grouping that together, I get up with 2 minus sine alpha sine beta plus cosine alpha cosine beta. Okay, so that's going to be one side of that equation. So I'm just going to expand out the other side here. Okay, so when I expand this out, I'm going to end up with 1 minus 2 cosine of alpha minus beta plus sine of, uh, sorry, oops, plus cosine squared alpha minus beta, whatever that angle is, plus sine squared of that same angle, alpha minus beta. Well, this together is equal to 1. Okay, so I'm going to just group that together. That's equal to 1. So I have the original 1 over here, 1 plus 1 from the identity, minus... 2 cosine of alpha minus beta. Okay, and so there's the other side. So now I have these two equalities. These two equations are equal to each other. And I'm just going to simplify this. This is going to become 2 plus, or sorry, 2 minus 2 cosine alpha minus beta. Okay, everything else is simplified out. And this is going to be equal to that expression. 
2 minus 2 sine alpha sine beta plus cos alpha cosine beta. And I'm just going to move it over so that it's we can see exactly, we can isolate that a little bit so it's a little bit easier to follow. Just going to group that again. Let's see if I can move that. Slide that over a bit. Okay. And then we can simplify this expression. We can cancel those twos out. Divide by negative 2 and we generate the identity for cosine of alpha minus beta, and we can see that that's equal to sine, and I'm going to rewrite the way that we have in the identity sheet. It's going to be cos alpha cos beta, so cos cos plus sine alpha sine beta. Okay, so there it is. We've generated the Pythagorean, or sorry, not the Pythagorean, the difference identity for cosine. And again, I don't expect you to do this on your own, but I want you to be able to follow the algebra of how I get there and appreciate that there is some geometry in algebra that allows us to generate these identities.